Y'all ready? Bully Zone, I need y'all to vibe with me like this. Let's go, let's go. If you see some, say some. Listen, no, Bully Zone, they don't want none. If you see some, say some. Listen, no, Bully Zone, they don't want none. I'm a bystander, not trying to get in any trouble. Listen, no, Bully Zone, I'm gonna say it in doubles. I gotta go to class to get a good education. Talking about other people. It's not a job that's paying. I gotta set my focus on graduating. All these fans got me tension cause they steady playing. If I see something bad, I go sit around like it's cool. I done paid a lot of money just to us in school. So if I see some, I'ma say some. This is no bully zone, they don't want none. So if I see some, I'ma say some. This is no bully zone, they don't want none. So if you see some, say some. This is no bully zone, they don't want none. If you see some, say some. This is no bully zone, they don't want none. So if you see some, say some. This is no bully zone, they don't want none. So if you see some, say some. This is no bully zone, they don't want none. I started a journey, and you know I'm gonna finish. Forget them haters hating if they ain't getting with it. Success is my name, I work hard, no games. But when it's time to play, you know I go crazy every day. Make my parents proud. I'm on the honor roll. Getting A's is a habit. Getting paid is my chore. I don't like when people hurt. So don't hurt no feelings. This is space, space. So get down how we live it. Hey, I'ma say some. This is no bully zone. They don't want none. So if I see some, I'ma say some. This is no bully zone. They don't want none. So if you see some, say some. This is no bully zone. They don't want none. So if you see some, Say some. This a no bully zone. I don't want none. So if you see some, say some. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. So if I see some, say some. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. So if I see some, say some. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. So if you see some, I'ma say some. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. Hey, this a no bully zone. No bully zone. No bully. Hey, no bully zone. Listen, no bully. Bully zone. No bully. Bully zone. I'm gonna be a buddy and not a bully. I'm gonna be a buddy and not a bully.
bully. I'ma be your buddy and not a bully. Hey, I'ma be your buddy and not your bully. Hey, so if I see something, I'ma say something. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. So if I see something, I'ma say something. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. If I see something, I'ma say something. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. So if I see something. I'ma say some. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. Hey, no, no bully zone. We gotta stop the bullying in these schools. Not just in the schools, though. On social media, at recess, in the cafeteria, in the workplace. I need everybody to be a part of the no bully zone and stand up and be bystanders. Let's go, let's go. This a no bully zone. They don't want none. Hey. <laughs> Hey Chicago, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the Shaping Young Minds TV show! I am so honored to today. I go by the name of Lizzie G, Chicago's educated female rapper, and we have a great lineup for you today. Talent from all over Chicago, from the south side to the west side, north and east. Oh man, today's show is gonna be amazing. So I'm so happy that you're tuned in to watch us today. We finna have a good time. And I am so honored to introduce him. He's a former student of mine from Christian Finger Academy High School. He was part of my after school production club and he was able to publish his own poetry book thanks to the sponsorship from Youth Guidance. He is a graduate class of 2017 and is now a father of a young son. And I have the opportunity to introduce to you, Mr. Steven Wells. My name is Steven Wells and the name of this piece is Black. On the inside, I am red. On the inside, I am blue. On the outside, I am black, white, brown, yellow, red, pale. Not the clothes I wear, cause those are just colors, but maybe I'll soon be categorized as a shirt, cause I can be worn out. Just like my ancestors who were worn out from picking cotton for said clothes to be worn out to the next party or the next event. On the inside, I am red. On the inside, I am blue. On the outside, I am a victim, a statistic, an image to keep your racism vivid. I'm no send off to get sent off or not another ship, not another whip going across me in a flashback. I see that fire hydrant spraying me as if I was there. On the inside, I am red. On the inside, I am blue. On the outside, I am furious as to why you aren't hearing this. Can't you tell I'm really furious? I just want to know what your motive really is. No segregation can be better for this nation. Not even a pointless assassination. Not even a racist man at an inauguration. On the inside, I am red. On the inside, I am blue. On the outside, no Jim Crow can harm my kinfolk. No more blacks hanging, no more racist, racial decapitations, no more we do this for the nation. No emancipation proclamation can keep my patience great when there is so much hatred cause I, I be that black hearted sovereign prince. Black hearted? See, you hear black hearted and think evil. I mean black hearted as in I love the black race. My black face you love to imitate, so figure me out. My figure be hidden, like Janelle Monet, Octavia Spencer, and Taraji B. Henson. So pick apart every ounce of my route. My root, not 69, but my root that lets you know I'm connected to my truth. I be king. Cut off my feet and name me Kunta. Threat of my life, nah. Put away your Ruga. Them sagging pants resemble them sagging chains. Label me. It brings me no pain. It means emperor. Don't you say it in vain. Because I, I be that black, young-hearted, sovereign king. Crown young, so don't try to dethrone me. And on the inside... I am red. On the inside, I am blue. On the outside, I'm no nigga who squeezes the trigger for you to point a finger and feel like my oppressor, cause I'm black. And I said KKK, you thought I was spitting alliteration. The first K is for your doctors killing their patients. The second K is for me killing your patients. The third K is for K-notophobia and that is for your fear of changing. 
We have a discrepancy of how you tried to erase me from society. You handed me hush money and said you weren't bribing me. This picture is painted professionally profound, powered purely by police, politicians, pedophiles, and parents, pushing parallel lines past primary thought processes, puncturing passion, punishing people, plus proud punks, prancing, and pussily pulled pitiful playing cards. And that trigger's talking tough. Now lay me down to sleep. I pray to the Lord, my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray to the Lord, my soul to take. Amen. Cold. Cold, damp. Cold, damp, moist. Cold, damp, moist, darkened. It's the dirt my body lay in about to soften. I'm buried, but I'm not in a coffin. I'm sick, way too sick, but my sick don't, don't leave me coughing. One foot in the grave, but not close to six feet. This that piece I wrote from that dream, me, 19 feet deep, sleep as I weep in misery. Tell me if I'm breathing, tell me if I'm bleeding, tell me if I'm broken, battered, or beaten. Tell me what I'm seeing, tell me what you're seeking, tell me what you're speaking, tell me what in life it is you're seeking. And the dirt is where my body lay. No earn is what I earn, yet I learned that life loses its self-worth, and it hurts. So as I'm gone, try to remember my name, try to remember my face. Try to remember the things in life that drove me insane. <clears throat> Try to remember why it is I say I'm not in a coffin. My grave is my motivation. My tombstone is for conversation. And in the dirt, my body lay in. And if you don't believe me, just remember why I say it. <laughs> Therapy session. Sitting across the room for me is a person who has seen my struggle firsthand who never questioned my companion, my best friend. I've told this person my every secret, yet they've not once opened up to me, letting me travel through their memories. As if they're so traumatizing, it'll make my thought process start unbinding. As I'm looking at the clock, I realize I'm spreading out way more than what should ever be said. There's this place in the back of my mind that I'm keeping myself caged in, raging from anticipation of a further separation I'm feeling so dark, I'm being called the raven. I need a sign, a real sign. Not me, a Gemini? Where's my safe haven? I never thought I'd need this. I let the misery misery in me start leaking, and I refuse to start leeching. I'm just seeking for something real for me to believe in. I can't stop this demon that has been possessing me. I'm sitting in a chair, confessing in therapy. Don't mess with me. I'm the effect after you take ecstasy. Eyes red from the thirst that needs to be quenched. I'm living in fear every day, terrified. I might evolve, but oppression only kills society's hollow, enlightening, lucid faults. Just another rose torn, I'm scorned. Hot horns, cuddling, catastrophic catastrophes, closing, cleaning closets, covering cultures, calm chakras can't be the only boom you hear. While my glass house once stood tall, ready to collapse right above me. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that performance. Coming up next, we have a recording artist, singer, and author who is on a mission to enlighten her people. She go by the name of Empress Sharon Green. You all give it up for her. Spirit, and an anthem of our praise. 
Satan's kingdom is under our feet. Send up that praise. Send it up, send it up. Send up that praise. Soon gear up and ride that way. Ride that way. Wave of the Spirit. We are warriors. We are warriors. Take up, take up, take up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Take up, take up, take up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Take up, take up, take up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Take up, take up, take up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Take up, take up, take up. Wake up, trees of righteousness. Hi, coming up next, we have a young entrepreneur, artist, and author. He go by the name of Christian Adrian. You guys give it up for Christian. Hey, my name is Christian, and I, and I like to um, play baseball, um, soccer ball, and and ga I'm a gamer, and I'm an artist, and I and I I, I draw a superhero called Metrics, and his superpower is he can control the wind, he can control, uh, he can create, create um. The, the the uh, the um tornado in any type of sorts of colors, and his city is Chicago, and I got this book coming on August thirtieth, and that's it. Thank you. Have a nice. Chicago, welcome back to Shaping Young Minds. Coming up next, we have our headliner by the name of Erin Beals. She's a 16-year-old sophomore from Morgan Park Academy. She's an artist, an entrepreneur, and a philanthropist. She recently had a benefit concert where all of her proceeds were donated to Social Works Incorporated. I'm sure you all know that organization is spearheaded by Chicago's Chance the Rapper. But coming up next, I can't wait till you hear the voices of this young lady. Y'all get Give it up for Miss Erin Beals.
And the people hide their faces And they hide their eyes Hide their eyes Cause their city is dying And they don't know why Yeah, they don't know why yeah. Oh, Baltimore Ain't it hard just to live? Ooh. Oh, Baltimore, ain't it hard just to live? Just to live? Hey, just to live. Sister Sandy and my little brother Ray. Boo, 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 boo. I'ma buy a big wagon to haul us all away, to haul us all away. We live out in the country. Where the mountains high Never gonna come back here ooh, Till the day I die Till the day I die Oh, Baltimore Ain't it hard just to live since I was about four years old. And the next song that I'm gonna be singing for you is off of my new EP, which you can find on any um, social media and music streaming site. It's called Feels. And also you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Aaron Beals. I hope you enjoy. Jesus. 
this is crazy cause I, I don't get feelings except for the feelings I'm feeling when I am looking at you, at you. I love the way, I love the way, I love the way you feel. Oh, I love the way you feel. I love the way you feel. I love the way it feels to be loved. enjoyed that performance. Coming up next, we have a great poet by the name of Andre. He is a father, and this poem that he is dedicating to you all today is to all of the graduates. Special shout out to class of 2018. And without further ado, I'm excited to bring to you Mr. Andre. It's a pleasure being here. Today I'm going to recite or share with you a piece I've written, a graduation for brother. It's going to be taken from The Purpose of Being, a book that I've self-published. But um, actually before I share that with you, it was something that was, that God put on my heart. As I was driving to work today and I was um, observing the crowd, just people walking around enjoying their day, and keep in mind, this is graduation season. And the spirit told me, some people are not gonna make it. Some people are gonna die. And that's a hard truth. It was a hard pill to swallow and it was painful for me. And I was like, and that's true, it's really true. And God was like, that's what I want you to tell the people. Put the guns down. Let these kids be kids. Let them enjoy their summer. I mean, just reflect on when you was a child and you had time to just go out and be free. These kids, they are afraid to go outside. So as they enjoy the summer and graduation, keep in mind, let them live. Once again, this first piece is called A Graduation for Brother. A graduation just for you. I hope all your dreams come true. The sense of success is in your hands. The power of the mind creates a plan. Graduation is the beginning of new challenges far ahead and only a strong mind and heart will spread. As we celebrate this great day, I hope all your intellect grows in the right way. What you need is guidance to succeed, respect for the ignorance and the less knowledgeable, a positive attitude to reach the right altitude, 
Be decisive about opportunities and obligations. Understand one's self and needs. Appreciate what and who you are. Talent is to be used internally and externally. An incentive to be the best. Keep an open mind for various options. Never say no to possibilities. Success has no obligations, but the person who seek must find the location so you can have it your way and enjoy your graduation day. And that's that first piece. Yeah. Yeah. Share with you. Feel free to look me up on YouTube, but the key to looking me up is you have to type in U-N-D-R-A, last name where, W-A-R-E. Once again, I'm on YouTube. When you get a chance to check me out, just subscribe to my channel. Illinois Poetry Society, if you want to check me out there, I'm also there. And Intellectual Radio, I'm also there. The second piece I want to share with you is untitled, and it's actually for Father's Day. We're about to go into June, and I'm, I've never written a Father's Day poem, and it kind of made me feel bad, but it made me realize I had some issues and concerns as well. So to all you fathers, this is for you. I've contemplated this in such a way because I understand it's Father's Day. My heart aches to my demise. Sometimes I feel fathers are truly despised. Some of us don't live up to the expectation and that's why we lack the admiration. But for those who rise to the occasion, we must be the light for the next generation. As a father, we should ensure the safety and well-being of our family, particularly our children. We are the light that shines throughout their lives. Our children reflect what they see. If they experience abuse, lack of love, or no desire to work, what recourse will they have? Fathers, be mentally, not physically. I'm sorry, fathers, be strong mentally, not just physically. Express love and show love. Learn to forgive and be supportive of your children. Invest time in your children, not just a moment of pouring negative energy, but learn to communicate in the positive. Return to the basis of bike riding, skating, throwing the football, or just sharing your fears and pain with your children. Show them that you have a heart. Fatherhood is no easy task. Take the time and drop your mask. It is our responsibility to guide and protect our families. Let's stop this bloodshed of inhumanity and let our children experience some sanity. Once again, my name is Andre Ware, AKA The Professor. I could be found on YouTube. Just type in U-N-D-R-A, W-A-R-E. Also, my book is The Purpose of Being, which can be found on Amazon. Peace. Enjoyed the show, Shaping Young Minds TV show. We have a lot of great things for you this summer, so please keep in touch with what we have going on. If you would like to participate at all or be a part with what we have going on, email us at SYMTVSHOW at gmail.com. Once again, I go by the name of Lizzie G, educated female rapper, and I was so blessed to serve as your MC today. Please keep in tune with what we have going on. And be safe, Chicago. Put the guns down. <laughs>